Welcome to another tutorial. Um, today I was going to show you a few things. I want to show you a quick simple layout that I often use for mass producing cards. Also too I want to show you a little bit of sewing tips on the sewing machine and um, just generally how I get uh, some ideas going when I'm creating cards. Now I'm going to do a really simple layout, one for Valentine's Day. I'm going to be using this set by Wordsworth um, and it's really quite a great Valentine set and quick simple to color great for mass production. I'm going to use the man and the woman stamp out of this and I adore you and as you can see I've used these stamps before. So basically what I do is I do card fronts and then when I'm done the front of a card I paste it to a white card base. So I'm using Cranberry Crisp cardstock and some um, Cosmo Cricut, I think it's called Hay Sugar, and this is just two inches by five inch strip, and then just a small piece of paper tray uh, white cardstock. First of all, I'm going to stamp my image, and that is There we go. That was with the Adirondack Espresso ink. Now my idea for this card is that I'm going to kind of lay it out like this. And then I'm going to use one of these Maya Road Ghost Flowers that I'm going to use the airbrush system to color the flower and um, kind of put it in this corner and stamp my sentiment on this little piece and bring it together probably with some ribbon underneath. So my next step, step would be to stamp this little sentiment. And it just barely fits, but that's good. You don't want a whole lot of extra room. Now to color, I've chosen to go with the kind of the blue color for the guy and as you can see it's just a quick strip of color and for the females dress I'll, I'll do a little bit of blending do the darker color at the bottom of her dress and then bring my lighter color more the top of the dress And then if you watch my last tutorial, touching my light tip to dark, blending that line between the two shades so that it's more of a gradual blend of color. And then I'm going to color the top flowers. Just a quick little and color the little holder too. So there you go, that doesn't get much easier than that for coloring an image. Okay, next I want to try out my airbrush system. Now typically they say that you can't use the chow markers in the airbrush system. This is a, just a really basic starter airbrush system kit. All I've done is added a couple of dimensional foamies in this place where you stick the barrel of your marker and that just lifts your marker enough to make it work in the system. So you put the tip in like this just so that it's just past the point there and I'm going to color my ghost flower and you can see it's really quick and then you don't get any streaky lines and there you have it just a really soft flower. Alright I'm going to move over to the sewing machine 